Okay guys, so in this video we are going to talk a little bit about default margins, paddings and box sizing. So let's get into it. Now here we have this basic web page with just a h1 and h2 and a paragraph tag. So if we look at this default styling, this is just HTML, there's no CSS or anything like that. So we have the HTML tag, we have our head tag and then we have the body. Do you notice this little orange box around the uh, around the body here? The orange box is indicated as it's basically the margin. So by default, your browser will give your your body tag a margin of a certain amount. Basically, it's going to be eight pixels, as we can see here out in the outline. As you can see, I can actually highlight the outline here or the margin, which is going to be eight pixels. And there's no border. There's no padding. And the content box itself is 304 pixels times 124.3444, right, okay. Same thing goes for the H1 element. We can see here that there's a margin and there's some content. H2 has the same thing and the paragraph has the same thing. Now, these are default stylings so that an HTML document can have some air to breathe and so forth and these have been around for ages and ages and ages. However, when you are designing a web page, you, it's very rare that you want to keep these default values. What we usually like to do is to do something we call a reset or a page reset. And the way that there's many ways to do this and my personal favorite one is with, when it just comes to this sort of thing is to do something like this. Let's actually look at the HTML first and foremost. So it's the same page with one single style property, which is the star here. Now be a little bit careful with the star. You don't want to star absolutely everything. This is a good, reasonable thing to do. So star basically means absolutely every element on the page. So what we do is that we set the default margin for every element to zero and the padding to zero and then we do this box sizing and we set that to border box. Now I'll touch on that in just a moment. So what's going to happen now is that as you can see the body has no default margin, the h1 has no margin, h2 and the paragraph tag none of them have any type of margin and the padding, go, the padding will be applied to elements that has a default padding. So what we've done now is that we have said that all right remove all margins and all paddings by default and then you can override the elements that you want which is usually what what it's kind of, it, it's an easier way to work at least from my experience so what's what's the deal with this box sizing thing here well to illustrate box sizing i'll show you this little web page that i thought illustrated it very nicely so the default behavior of the browser is to have a box sizing of content box which means that the width and the height of the element so when the browser is actually calculating what the width and the height of your element is it's going to only look at the content so in other words for f from the browser's perspective the width is going to be these uh, th this blue area as you see here well actually let's look at this from the browser's perspective the width of this element is the blue area plus the margin which is the orient orange area so this is the width plus this area. But when the browser is doing the calculation, it's going to say that, hey, this is the width. I'm going to just exclude from my calculation this margin here. I'm just going to focus on this content area here. And that is a default behavior. And it's very rarely the thing that you want. And that's why border box has become almost a default setting that you set on all elements. Because one, what happens in when you put something to border box is that the browser is going to put all of the margin, all of the content, all of the padding and all of the uh, the border itself into the calculation. So the entire element is calculated as w when, when we're doing the calculation for the width and the height. And that's very, very often I would say that I can, there's not many times, there's no, really no, I'm going to be honest, I've never actually found content box to have a use case. I really feel that this is something that was an idea back in the day and we kind of figured out that it wasn't a good idea and so we went over to border box. Maybe there's a reason to use content box. I can't really see a reason to use it, but there could be reasons. So yeah, this is just a healthy little tip for you. Set your 
margins, your padding, and your box sizing with the star when you start a project, and you're good to go. Have a great day.